Hi, I'm Andrew and in this presentation I'll be talking about tools for sports performance analysis to work with GPS player tracking data. In particular, how we can take GPS traces from multiple fields played in different locations and combine them into a common reference frame so we can make comparisons between players. In this first part of the presentation series, I'll be looking at a couple of existing tools um, that are commercially sold to sports performance analysts. Okay, so first off, I want to explain what I mean by reprojection and why that's so important. Um, taking AFL as an example sport, um, it's played on different fields and obviously each of these fields has a different location um, but sort of special to AFL these fields can also have different shapes and each field can be oriented slightly differently um, so as you can see from the pictures on the left here we have the Aora Stadium um, aka the University of Tasmania Stadium which is oriented sort of north-south and then below we have the MCG, the Melbourne Cricket Ground, uh, which is oriented with a more east-west direction. Um, so sports performance analysis need to be able to compare players across different games. So it could be comparing one player with another player from the opposition, or it may even be comparing one player with themselves at a different point during the season. Um, when it comes to comparing these player traces, unfortunately there's not a lot we can do about the different shapes of field. Um, we could sort of stretch the field so that the goals end up in the same relative location, but the problem with that is if you stretch a longer field to make it shorter or stretch a smaller field to sort of make it longer, uh, you end up distorting the absolute speeds. Uh, that said, uh, repositioning the fields so that their centers match and so that their goals are oriented the same way should in theory be an easy task. Uh, that said, uh, just because something's theoretically possible doesn't mean that it's easy in practice. So let's have a look at how well the existing tools support this. Okay, starting off with the sub elite space, uh, we have SPT Game Tracker, which was written by the company Sports Performance Tracking. Um, I had a play around with the demo that you can see on the left there. Uh, where their most advanced spatial analytics tool is essentially just a heat map overlaid on Google Maps. Um, now the problem with this tool is that they don't have any internal model of what the field looks like, uh, which means we don't have any capability to break uh, the stats down by things such as which zone the players are in. In fact, there's no game context whatsoever, so nothing about kicks, handballs, tackles. Um, so they've managed to get around this uh, by focusing on metrics that have nothing to do with the absolute locations such as distance, speed, intensity. Um, but if you want anything beyond that, um, unfortunately this tool isn't going to cut it. Moving on to the elite space, we have Catapult Sports Clear Sky. Uh, so ClearSky doesn't actually use GPS at all. Instead they have beacons set up around the field uh, in known locations which are used to infer the player position. Um, and as you can see from the screenshot on the left there, you can see it does quite a good job of that. They've managed to match it up with the map of the field uh, to infer exactly where the players are and which zones they're in. Uh, that said, it comes with a hefty price tag, it can cost uh, professional teams up to $100,000 per year. Um, looking through the marketing materials, I did find that their system also works with the older GPS devices that they 
used to manufacture. It claims that using those GPS devices you can build your own field. Um, there's no lot of public information on how that works, but my guess is if you were you to use uh, one of their GPS devices to measure the goalposts at either end, perhaps based on that uh, it could calculate uh, where those absolute player positions are relative to the girls. So in summary, uh, in advanced player tracking systems for these elite sport teams, they do have the functionality to track the players relative to the local reference frame of the field, um, or at least from what I can tell from their marketing materials. Um, in the sub-elite space, a lot of this spatial analysis capability is severely lacking. Um, so there's some opportunities there if we can find a way to introduce some more spatial analysis capabilities into these sub-elite tools without substantially raising the costs.